Hello everyone and welcome back to another Skyrim tutorial video. So today we're going to be doing the quest Final Descent. So if you don't know how to start this quest already then what you have to do is go to Glover Mallory in Ravenrock and we are in Ravenrock by the way. He's the blacksmith here and ask him about an ancient Nord pickaxe which he had stolen from him and he'll direct you to this old man here, Crescius Corellius, who stole his pickaxe. If you get the pickaxe back for Governor Mallory, then he'll give you some gold for it, I think, and let you keep the pickaxe. So that's quite nice. And also, the Ancient Ore pickaxe is the only pickaxe strong enough to mine Starwim, and there's some Starwim down here anyway, so it's useful to have that. I think there's a ski for along here. Yeah, and... Okay, so this isn't a particularly easy quest, to be honest. This is actually quite difficult. I'm playing on master difficulty, let me just show you, so that you know. Yeah. And at the end you have to fight a dragon priest. I'm not going to give away who it is or what the master does or anything yet, but... If you've been playing Skyrim for as long as I have, you'll probably already know that it's a very difficult fight, so... Make sure to have plenty of healing bows with you now. Which way? Okay, just get jump down here. Now these planks are quite difficult to actually remove. They take quite a bit of convincing to actually come down. Right. No, nope, not coming. So I get <laughs> really head up on losing hours now because they're quite difficult to make. Okay, right. Make sure to keep an eye out for hidden chests while you're down here. I think there's quite a few. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, you can see how useful the power shot perk is. By the way, if you didn't know, I'm playing on the Dark Elf Ranger build at the moment. If you've already seen my video, you'll know that. A lot of the point is to be able to stagger enemies, stop them from getting as many power attacks or anything like that on you. Right, I think he's probably going to run in a minute. There we are. Right, make sure to search your corpses afterwards, just in case they have any gold on them. There we are. Get your arrows back if you're... Ah! Ow! Okay, if you're using a archer character, then make sure to search your arrows. Something over there. <laughs> Thankfully, Drog are really stupid. So, let's just see if that one's alive. No. A feeling that some of the Drog are going to get in my face in a minute, so I'll just get my sword ready. Oh, he's actually alive. No. Right, there we are. That's the end of that. Okay, let's check. All the burial rooms around. Yeah, might be some gemstones or something. No, just some gold. Still, it all builds up, I suppose. Now, this area. Oh no, okay, I shouldn't have done that. I let him summon the thing. Right. Tell you what, a good tactic here if you have ice form. Freeze a couple of them. The thing is, the idea of just staggering them really works very well, well against tough oak enemies like frost action arcs. Oh dear. I'm getting pulverized there. Oh dear, the other ones are breaking free. Oh, 
hold it. Okay, right, I'm about to die. Thing is, I probably should have brought a follower with me, but, but it's too late now. Um. Oh, sorry about that. Right, much easier to fight than one on one. There we are. Right, that was close, wasn't it? Okay. Quickly loot the corpses. Trick is to just wait an hour if there are no enemies nearby. It really helps. And I'm going to keep quick saving after I've done these parts, just to make sure that you don't have to keep watching it over and over again. I do find that quite tedious on some YouTube videos. Okay, right, now this is a star room, and star room is very expensive, and if you pick the heavy armor side on your smithing, then you're really going to want to mine us, so you'll need an ancient nor pickaxe, so like I said earlier, it's the only pickaxe strong enough to actually mine star room. And you can, of course, just hit the vein like this. Much faster. Oh, there are. There's a blocker down there. There's some gold. Nice. Right. Yep. Good. I well, was going to get up for a minute there. I think that's a trap down there, isn't it? Right. I'm free. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to quick save here because this is quite a difficult fight. I think there's about two dark death lords in here. Oh. They're really not very bright are they? I'm not even a sneak character, I'll show you in a minute my sneak is really nice. Right, there's a weaker one over there. Dark or right. Oh. There we are. Oh no. Only got a few good hours left. I'm going to have to switch down to my dwarf and hours instead. Don't look very good on me though. Right. Not getting many staggers though. There we are. That's better. Oh, get coming for ha. Now, like I was saying, if you look out for hidden things along here, there's actually. Let me get to it. Well, there's no big wall, actually, that, though. Um, there's a door behind this waterfall, so make sure to come through here. And I'll show you what's back here. The <laughs> loading times are so much better on special edition. Right, let's see. And then take my agent or pickaxe. And I can get some more star here. Even if you're not going to be using it to craft star and weapons and armor, it's still quite an expensive material. I think it has a base damage of about uh, a base price of about a hundred, I think. Yeah. Of course different mer and merchants will give you different rates for it. Okay, right. Any gold on him? So what I'm going to need to do is head up here because I can remember the first time I did this I got really confused here. Huh? I spent about 20 minutes just looking for the switch, maybe it's just me being stupid but around the corner down here. Just a switch here. Arcane Enchanter there. Oh, Expert Lock, do you think? I doubt it, no. There we are. Okay, 10 tries then again. And that's one. Two. Oh, that's what I will do then, I'll do. I always give myself 10 tries if I'm <laughs> filming it so that <sighs> you don't get bored watching. That's free. Come on, it's only Expert. I should be able to. I haven't got any perks in the lockpicking skill tree, but I should be able to do this, I mean. Oh, just... Yeah, there we are. Nice. On four. Don't need any of that. 
Right, now I think that's it. I don't think there's really any hidden loot around here. No, there's not, no. And then, um, around the corner though, you can see that this gate's been opened now, and you can just go through here. Hmm. Something about... Ah. Uh, oh, oh. Use an iron arrow. There's a salt gem up there, and I have a strange feeling that that's going to kill me if I touch the ice spike tome before knocking it down. Uh, right, there we are. Sell that, I suppose. Hmm. <coughs> there we are. I think that's filled cell as well, that's nice. Like I say though, this is quite a long winter dungeon, so... Oh, oh, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, that's pressure plate just down there. Right, so watch out for that, definitely. Don't to be stupid like me and just walk straight into it. Oh, and there's a chest, and a depth chest. Right, give myself ten goes then again. One. Ah, oh, there we are. One, two, that's not too difficult. Okay, and once you come through there, you'll get to the last chamber. This is quite beautiful, I think. It's really nice with all this sort of brickwork. I'm not sure. It, it looks... It sort of looks like it's man-made, but then it looks quite natural, so it's really cool. But Okay, down here you've got another hidden chest. Just make sure you don't miss this. Thankfully there's not a lock on this one for once. And then over here. It's a diary. Make sure you take the journal before you leave, because if you don't, then you're going to have to come all the way back down here again to finish the quest. I'll just turn the page. You can pause it if you really want to read it now. And what you're going to need to do is equip the Bloodscale Blade. And you're going to need to perform power attacks in the direction of the lines on the wall, okay? So here you're going to need to do a sideways one while pointing at this one. You don't have to be very accurate, you just have to make sure it's the right kind of power attack. One. Then there'll be some um, vertical lines here. <laughs> Sends the skulls flying everywhere. Oh, right, no. Sorry, that's the wrong kind of power attack. Yeah. Then finally, out here. Hmm. Right. If you just run along here as fast as you can, then they won't activate in time. Oh. Ow. Okay, I think one of them got me. Okay. Now, here you're really going to need to be careful. I'm going to save it here, because this is where the Dragon Priest is. He's, I think he's under the water there. So, be really, really careful. They're actually considerably more intelligent than Draga, so you need to watch out when you're fighting him. That was those. Of course, if worse comes to worse, I suppose I could just turn the difficulty down, but I really don't like doing that. The thing is, I would really heavily recommend having a follower. Oh, God. Okay, 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 right. Um, I suppose... Right. Right, I think the only thing for it is to just get right up in his face with a sword and shield. There. Don't 
Die. Die. Right, there we are. Just can't let him summon anything. Oh god. Right, losing health quite rapidly. I think that's a lightning cloak. No. Oh. There we are. Right. <laughs> Only just. So, exactly. I really wouldn't recommend coming here on low levels because that's slightly so that's a mass level of suction and that will make quite short work of low level players. Here we are. So, Zakrasos, if you're a mage character and you use shock spells, is a very, very, very useful item to have. So it increases your shock resistance by 50% and your shock spell damage by 25%, as you can see. And it looks amazing. I mean, just look at that. I'll just unequip my. Uh, let me see. So you can see the full mask. There we are. It's a really menacing and quite a, quite a sinister looking mask as well. So. Yeah, I definitely recommend it if you're a mage. Oh, that was stupid of me, I nearly forgot. Down here is, I think it's a word for dragon aspect, but I might be wrong. It might be a cyclone, I'm not sure. Yeah, here we are, dragon ammo. I think this is just mud. yeah. Right, so, I don't think there are any hidden chests under the water here. But of course, there's the main chest along that. There are actually three named dragon priests on. That wasn't much. Two in a boss chest. There are actually three named dragon priests in the Dragonborn DLC aside from Mirak. So there's Dukan, Azidal, and Zakrasos. But I won't tell you where the other two are. I'll probably do walkthroughs on those later on, though. At some point. So, let's see. Here's a real boss chest, I think. Ah, so we Don't forget to check the Beryl Lands. And now. One of the other pieces that you'll have to do is read the black book, but I'd recommend taking all the potions around here because they are going to be quite a lot of help when you actually get into the black book. Okay, good to save it once again. so much better on special edition. For any of you who've played the PS3 you'll know that whoa yeah it looks just amazing by comparison. And I yeah this slimy tentacle stuff is a lot higher up than it was on PS3. And by the way I really wouldn't recommend trying to swim in that because it will kill you very quickly. Oh, that's amazing isn't it? It's really beautiful in a really sort of unnerving way. Yeah. Uh oh, I think that's a seeker. Uh oh, come on. Now, make sure you attack the original seeker, not the copy. Because once the original one dies, the copy will die as well. But if you attack the copy, then the original one will still be alive. If you're looking for any interesting lore on Skyrim, you can always just read the book for the one. The. What's that? The seekers, because they always have some interesting stories and everything. And sometimes some nice spell terms as well. And lots of soul gems here. Ah. Right. <coughs> right. Um, I was going to say as well, at some point I'll be uploading a series of videos on the Thieves Guild, a whole walkthrough series. But that probably won't be for about a week or so yet, but if you're interested, then tell me if I should charge you character or maybe just continue with this one. I don't really mind, but I think you're probably doing it on this character because I always find it quite interesting doing it on a tank build instead well, not a tank, a ranger build or a tank build instead of a thief build because it, it makes it a bit more difficult because I sort of designed for thieves otherwise, and I find it quite easy on thief builds normally. Oh no, I can't hit him. Just die. Die. Oh. That's really close. Okay. Don't know if I'll be able to wait. No. If I just back off a bit. There we are. Okay. Right, just so let me know if you'd be interested in the Thieves Guild walkthrough. Anyway, what's through here? I think this is the main area, isn't it? 
probably going to be a oh yeah a lurker now like i was saying on my build guide these are the sort of enemies where you need to get a lot of bashes so don't be afraid to use your post of stamina in these sort of situations i don't think he has very good eyes are they oh oh no really try not to go for snoop <laughs> just me being an idiot Try and get away from the. Oops, went up from the well. Try to get away from that nasty, slimy stuff in the middle as well, because that will cause you additional health damages. It's really not what you want now. opponent if they try to do a regular attack while you're blocking so you don't always have to bash if it's not too much of a strong attack. Right, let's see if I can actually get a kill move here. Right. Oh no. Never mind. Right. They normally have some really good loot. Yep. <laughs> 441 gold. Well, smithing. Yep. Matty for this build if you are going to be using a build like this or this exact same build then you're definitely going to want lots of smithing enchanted items because that's really going to help. As you can see I've got my armor to up to legendary standard now but being light armor it's still not at the armor cap yet so I've got a way to go. Oops. Shouldn't have picked up that woman but There's a lot of black soul gems here, so if you're interested in enchanting, you'll definitely want to pick them up, or even if you're not, then they'll still sell for quite a lot. There we are, so there's a vessel here, don't forget to loot that. Hmm, don't think you need any of that. Hmm, right. So I'll just read each one, just so that you know what each one does, if you're planning on doing the quest. So, yeah, Scholar's Insight. Reading skill books give you an additional skill point, which is okay, but there aren't really... I find that there normally aren't as many skill books as I'd like to be useful to me. There's normally only about 12 to 14 or so that I actually read and are useful to my character, but I suppose if you're a low level and you just want to level up quickly, then that'd be quite useful. It says you can only accept one ability from the book at a time. By the way, you can't just activate your black book anyway. You have to be in Soul Shine for it to work if you want to change the ability. Here, companions inside your attack, shouts, and destruction spells do no damage to your followers. I don't normally use a follower on this build, so I probably won't need that. And then love is inside. You do 10% 10 10 better... Uh, wait, sorry. <laughs> um, 10 sorry. 10% more damage and get 10% better prices for people of the opposite sex. So I think that one's quite useful but hmm I'm just going to go with that one because it's still a damage boost I suppose right okay back to soul stone then Here we are. So in order to get out of the barrel, you're going to have to go through this whole bandit camp. So make sure you don't use up all your potions of healing and stamina or magicka if you're a mage while you're in a tomb. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh no. Oh, I hate mages. 
Okay. No. There. some loot off the leader's corpse. That'll come in handy. Ah, oh. felt like I'm always overburdened. So about this, just looking for something I can drop. Most of it's just useless anyway. Don't really need that. I don't need that for destruction. That might sell for a bit though. It's... I knew it. It's... I think there's some more up here, yeah. Make sure to loot. Oh, no, nothing on them. Not pick. I'm not very good at lock picking really, so it's good to have the next one. Hmm. The dragon aspect sound actually does last for a lot longer than I thought it would, so it's really useful actually. Although I think you can only use it once a day, so. I suppose you can always just wait 24 hours in between uses anyway. Not too bad. Right. I'm going to have to just use iron hours because I don't really have enough glass hours. Ow. How does he survive that? He's got an arrow. Through his whole head. Lucky that got a stagger. I think it's pretty much impossible for him to fight that older. Quite too soon. Huh. Mercy. Um, and if I haven't already told you, then I've actually got Soul Tap on this boat because I find if you're doing an enchanting character, it's completely essential that you have at least one weapon enchanted from Soul Tap. Because my bow is pretty much my secondary weapon, it just made sense really. I do find a deck locks are much easier to pick than all the others really, but obviously besides novice and apprentice I think they're actually not too bad. So we'll just take the blood scale blade back to, um, no not the blood scale blade, the journal back to Cretius and then I think that'll be the end of the video so let's go back here. Hmm. Right, once you've been through the blood scale barrow then then he'll have returned to his house, so make sure you have the quest markers on, otherwise you might not be able to find where he is. You're back. Please, tell me what you... Let me see that. Huh, I knew it. Now that I have his journal in hand, thank you. Now I... Here, it's not much, but it's the best an old retired miner can do. Okay, right, so that's how you complete the quest, the final descent. So, if you like the video, then make sure to like and subscribe. So, okay, thank you for watching, and goodbye.